What's up guys? Future Concept Screencast here. I have a quick look at the YouTube video editor that was released a couple days ago for us to play with on youtube.com forward slash test tube. And what test tube is is a place where YouTube has some ideas that they want the viewers to play around with and see if they like them and give them some feedback. And if enough people like the ideas, well then those things will be implemented into our YouTube experience. What the video editor does is it allows you to combine multiple clips to make longer videos and you can also trim the beginning and the end of the video. You can't trim anything else, just the beginning and the end. So it's not a full-fledged video editor, but it does also allow you to add some soundtrack music from the audio swap library the YouTube library that has obscure artists playing obscure music that we've never heard of. As you can see here I have my video editor section and it's split up into two tabs my videos and the audio swap library. So on my videos tab these are all the videos that I've uploaded so far so you just drag and drop down into the timeline so I'm going to drag down one of my videos and I've already chosen a soundtrack for that video so as you can see when I hit play it's going to replace any audio that was in my video originally it's going to replace it with the audio that I chose from the audio swap library Now that works if you're doing like a photo montage or something like that, but if you're showing a video tutorial or a screencast or something like that, well then that's not going to help you at all because all the audio that you're doing is going to be gone. There are some online video editors available that are much better than the one YouTube offers. There's one called J Cuts, which I will be showing you how to use as well and one called Motion Box. Motion Box makes it easy for you to share your videos with people. It's like a personal video service to share your videos in a private place. So for example, your videos can be seen by any Motion Box members that are your contacts. In other words, you have to give them the okay to see your videos. You can password protect all of your videos and only people that you give the okay to can see them. On the other hand, you can have open access to your videos where people would just type in www.motionbox.com slash profile slash whatever your username is for Motionbox. And then they'll be able to see any videos that you put up with open access. Motionbox gives you unlimited video storage if you're on the premium account. Um, it has some online editing tools, but they're not very deep. It only gives you the option of rotating your video and trimming it beginning to end. And other than that, pretty much it. Um, it allows large file uploads. It's got a high definition player. You can download uh, the movies to your computer or your iPod. You can make DVDs and flipbooks out of your videos and you can automatically upload videos to Facebook so that people can view them there as well. As far as online video editors are concerned, the best one has definitely got to be JCut. JCut allows you to upload videos, pictures, and music to create and share your masterpieces. And it allows you to license the editor for you to use on your website in case your website has to do with a lot of videos like a travel page or something like that well then you can license the editor put it on your page and people can visit your site and edit their videos on your site which is actually pretty cool you can actually try a demo from jcut.com and I will show you some of the cool things you can do with it 
It's the most robust editor out of the ones I've mentioned. It allows you to do transitions, effects, text, all kinds of different things. So just click on try a demo and here's your editor. From here you will be able to work with some of the videos that they already have on there for you to do some practicing and stuff. But like I said, you can upload your own media to use. But what we're going to do is work with some of the media that they're providing. So I'm just going to drag down train1.avi and train2.avi somewhere over here. And as you can see, it's everything's nicely labeled for where you need to put um, the text, the video, and the transition, the effects, and the audio. So I'm just going to move this over a little bit, and we're going to go to the other tab. I'm going to choose simple text. And as you see on the right-hand side, it shows you what your text is going to look like. So we're just going to take that text and drag it down into the text bar on the bottom on the timeline. And one of the cool things here, instead of your usual Arial font or, well, you have your Arial font, but most of the fonts that you can use, as you can see, there's a 28 days later font from the movie. And there's all kinds of different ones, Bleeding Cowboys, Caribbean Island, Empire State. There's quite a few. Sunflower, Wild West. So we're going to go with 28 Days Later. I like that. Then you're just going to click right in the, in the box. And we'll type in. And as you see, text is going to pop up right before the train 1.avi video will start. And we're going to do a transition from one video to the next. And before I show you that, as you can see, there's on the right and left hand sides, there's like these little arrow, arrows pointing left and pointing right. That allows you to trim the video. So we're just going to trim this a little bit here. Trim this one. Okay. And let's click on the transitions tab. And let's see, we'll use uh, cloth. I'm going to bring it down. And one of the things you got to do is you got to make sure that your transition is touching both videos. So, for example, you see that it's going to do a transition at almost the 10 second mark, it's going to start the clock transition and then go on to train two video. Now, some of the effects that you can do, you can do grayscale, adjust the brightness, the gamma, flip, do a mirror, and obscure. We're not going to add any effects. Then the audio, right now it only offers four audio tracks. Some Beastie Boys, Thievery Corporation, Paul Westerberg, and Chuck D. Pretty eclectic group. Okay, you can even add some images. So we'll just cut this one a little bit more. And from the train, we're going to cut to a nice sunset. All right, so once you're done, we're going to click down here, preview mix. Give your movie a name. As you can see, there's the text that I did. See the train's moving. There's the clock. Goes back to the train. Then it's going to go to train two again. Now, that was a pretty crappy transition, but you get the idea. Then it's going to cut to the picture. And there you go.